What's up everyone, it's Aparicio, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, subscribe for weekly DaVinci Resolve videos covering the Fusion page and the Color page. Today, I wanna show you how to do the lock on stabilization effect. I think you should have this in your bag. Let's get right into it. All right, so hover over your shot and go ahead and go to the Fusion page. So what you're gonna do is press shift space, add a tracker node, go ahead and add it. There you see it cool um, you see the tracker pop up right here in the shot all right and I'm gonna track this to a high contrast point probably like right here or her eyebrows I'm gonna shrink this and shrink this as well and you see what I did there and then what you're gonna do is you're going to go ahead and drag your playhead if it's not already to the very first frame of the shot just to make things easier and you're gonna come right here and you're gonna go hit track forward track that wait a second so let that track let davinci do his thing and then the render is completed cool i'm gonna go back to the beginning of my shot and now you're gonna go to operations and you're going to hit match move all right very important and then this menu is going to come up here um what you're going to want to do is come here to merge and you're going to want to hit background only and what that means is pretty much anything that's plugged in to the back here, the yellow point, which is the background, will match the movement of the tracker. And currently we have our footage plugged into it. So our footage is going to match the movement. So as you can see, when we press play, our footage is jumping around with that tracker. All right, easy to fix. Uh, before your tracker node, go ahead and click media in one, shift space. You're going to add a transform node, all you're going to do is move your playhead to a point where it's the most dramatic, I'd say. So I think right, probably like right here is when the frame is most unaligned. So what I'm going to do is just adjust my size. So I'm going to zoom in. I can adjust right here, the X axis and the Y. I'll zoom in a little bit more, a little bit more. Now I'm going to go to the beginning. I'm going to press play. And as you can see, we have our locked in shot. And yeah, guys, there you go. That's how you do it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.